So we had a question on finding the greatest common factor and the least common multiple of a polynomial. Um, these questions uh, refer to page 191 in the text. Um, we learned greatest common factor in LCM a while back. I have a shortcut code for remembering those. It's up here on the board. Greatest common factor. You look for the common factors in the low power in each group. For LCM, you look for all of the factors and you have to use the high power of any of the factors that you see. So, let's see if we can use that information and try and factor these and find the GCF and the LCM. Here goes. First part, I'm going to factor this. I notice a common factor of t, so that's my first step. t and then t squared minus 2t minus 3. Then I notice this factors again, so I keep the t, and this factors into two parentheses, t minus 3, t plus 1, and that's about it for factoring, so I'm going to leave that there. There's one answer. Okay, let's go here, factor this. Um, you know what? I think I caught the problem a little bit wrong. That was 5t squared plus 4t, so we fix that. All right, let's factor. First, factor out a t. Then I get t squared plus 5t plus 4. Factor again. The t stands, two parentheses, the t squared. Factors of 4, 2, 2, 4, and 1. I need to add up to 5, so plus 4, plus 1. All right? I have that one factored. Now, once you have both parts factored, you need to look at the polynomials and use the rule GCF. So let's figure it out. GCF, so these two polynomials, the greatest common factor, I want common factors, so they both have a t in common. I can use that. They both have t minus 3? Nope. Do they both have a t plus 1? Oh, yeah. t plus 1. That's it. Greatest common factor. I have to use only common factors. So, there's the answer for greatest common factor. You do not have to multiply that out. So, the answer is as it stands. All right, let's do LCM for the same problem. L M equals, let's look at the code, all the factors. All right, so I need a t. I need a t minus 3. Hmm, t minus 3 is not in that one. That's okay. For LCM, I want all the factors regardless whether it's in either one. So I need everything. t plus 1. T, do we need to write it again? No, only write it once. All right, uh, T plus four. T plus one, I already have it. So, all factors, high power. If any of these had a power on them, then I would put that high power in here as part of the answer. But we didn't have any. So, LCM, there she is. That's all there is to it. Try your luck on the homework problems there on 191. Now, another one, um, there was a question on 54, I'm going to do 53, which is similar, and see if you can use this example to get 54. This, I notice, is a difference of two squares. This is a perfect square, this is a perfect square, and this is a special rule for factoring a difference of two squares. I like to get it to look like a perfect square first. So I'm going to rewrite this as a to the 2n squared minus b to the 2n squared. Now it really does look like a perfect square on both parts. So difference of two squares factors into two parentheses a to the 2n minus, oh, this is b to the 2n squared. Sorry about that. a to the 2n, a to the 2n, minus, plus, b to the 2n, b to the 2n. Think you're done? Not quite. Look what I have here. Difference of two squares again. 
All right, back through it again. A to the N, A to the N, minus plus, B to the N, B to the N. Next part, sum of two squares. Is there a factor pattern for sum of two squares? I hope you realize there is not. This one does not factor, so A to the 2N plus B to the 2N. There's the answer, factored as it stands. I want to give you a hint, because number 54 is a little bit trickier than this. Instead of a difference of two squares, it's going to be a difference of two cubes. So, make sure you follow the factor pattern for cubes, and we learned that a while back. If you're stuck, go back and watch the other video on, on factoring uh, sum and difference of perfect cubes. I think you'll be able to get it, they'll follow it. Sometimes at the answer to the first step, you have another step. So double check that everything's completely factored, and good luck on your homework.